the, uh, the longitudinal standing waves that we're going to be primarily dealing with are sound waves that are traveling through each other along a column of air. Now, you've set up these standing waves before when you're sitting around with one of these bottles, whatever it is, and you just blow across the top creating white noise or all the frequencies. One of those frequencies is going to resonate with this system, okay? Now, I have here, uh, essentially it's just a column of air, and there's water in this beaker, this uh, cylinder rather, and the water's just at the right length so that the fundamental frequency of this column of air is 341 hertz. Now, that means that at 341 hertz, I'm going to get a, a pattern, a standing wave pattern. There's the water down there. That, the surface of the water forces me to have a node because the air molecules can't go that way. There's a wall. The open end of the cylinder is an antinode. And so that means that the longest wave that will fit from the node to the antinode looks like that. And we call that F1, and it's 341 hertz. Yes? Wouldn't it be a longitudinal wave? Though? It's a longitudinal wave, and that's what we're talking about now. We just transitioned to longitudinal wave. And uh, I'll come back and tell you why that uh, representation is not a good one in just a minute. I still go from a node to an anti-node. Now, I have here a, a tuning fork that is 341.3 hertz. And really, we set this up so that it would resonate with that. Now, can you hear that? Can the people in the back hear that? If you can, you're really good, because I can't hear it from here. But the tuning fork is sounding. Now listen carefully. Now everyone in the room can hear it, right? When I put it over the column of air, it sends up a standing wave, a sloshing, if you will, inside the tube. And now you're hearing both the the tuning fork and the resonance in the, in the air. Now you're just hearing the tuning fork. Now, if I take a tuning fork that has twice the frequency, is it going to resonate with this uh, system that goes from a node to an anti-node? Do I get even harmonics when I've got a node at one end and an anti-node at the other? I don't. And listen, now you can hear the tuning fork Okay, <laughs> wait a second. The laws of physics are temporarily out of order. <laughs> okay, there's no, there's no echo, but you can still hear the, okay. Now, this is three times the fundamental, or 1024 hertz. You can hear the tuning fork, and now you can hear the echo of the air column. So we're, we're setting up a standing wave inside the air column. Okay, good. 